What's up everyone, this is George from Your Local Musician and today's video is going to be a little quick tip tutorial um, on how to change your metronome sound in Logic Pro X. Now I originally came across this idea by actually watching an FL Studio um, tutorial but obviously I'm going to bring it along to Logic Pro X the best that I can. And this idea is to obviously uh, change your uh, metronome sound to obviously inspire you to um, uh, play bits more because one thing that's not very inspiring about this sound in particular to me in particular I don't find that very um, sort of inspiring the way you got to think of it is that if you're in a band for instance um, you're playing with live musicians the drummer in that band is not going to have a click track you know if you're trying to bring across the sort of natural sort of side of you in in your production then an ordinary click track sound isn't going to inspire you that much to add parts to this beat so what would be one of the best things to do is to obviously when you've got that drum sound that natural hi-hat sound now this is where i'm going to let you down a little bit Obviously, I know within FL Studio, it's very, very easy to just switch to the actual sound of a real hi-hat, which is a lot more inspiring. Unfortunately, I don't think we can do that in Logic Pro X, but there is a way and to make it a little bit more interesting than this. So if you're like me and you don't find that that inspiring, here's how we can change it. First of all, obviously, by default, your click track is probably off so let's just make sure we enable that up here and we want to open up the mixer and then just slide over to all now obviously what this is going to do is obviously bring up every track in your session including the click track so here it is right here and you've got this you've got this instrument right here that is club figures that I, I, I'm dyslexic I don't even know how to say that and obviously this is the, the natural sound that you get now one thing we can do is obviously is is, is flick through the um, presets here if anything sounds more like a hi-hat it, well, well, if anything sounds like hi hat, it's probably that. Now, obviously, we do have the option here to obviously tune it. Now, that's that's pretty much sounding like like a an analog hi hat, not a not a real one, but it's probably as close as we're gonna get. So impulse one, we can go along to impulse two. Sounding a bit more like a hi hat as well. Kick drum. As you know, it's more and more that you play with the the settings. You know, you can get a you can get a pretty decent sound out of it. And if you prefer this sound over the standard click track sound that you get within Logic Pro X, obviously, so that this comes up next time in your next session, you just want to make sure. Oh no, crap! Sorry, I hit save there. Don't do what I do. Don't listen to me. Hit save as, and obviously, save it to hi hat. And now we've got that, um, we've now got that as a custom preset. The 
point is to play around with it. Play around with it as much as you can and find a sound that is more inspirational to you and one that actually sort of feels a bit more like that natural drummer um, it, it, it in your recording session if that is what you want per se or just play around with it and have some fun. So guys, if you like videos like this, remember to hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button because if you don't, we, well, you're not going to get little tippy bits like this, are you? And you need this in your life. You need it!